What's wrong, Abram? Mama! Yeah, my sentiments exactly, buddy. <laughs> Another rainy day in Texas. You are my brother. You are my sister. Made by the same guy. Loved by the same guy. Bye -bye. He wants his car back. It's gonna clean it all up. Yay! Hey, Mama, it's not gonna go bye-bye. Just stay in the yard. Wow. You wanna play in the rain? No. Do you, do you want your car? Do you want your car? Daddy will go save it. Here, Daddy's gonna go save your car, okay? Go, Daddy! Yay, Daddy! Here, here, here. Yay! Abram! Yay, Daddy! There you go, buddy. Yeah, you know this <laughs> no, I can see it. <laughs> yeah, you got your car. Don't wheel off the side, though. Dude. Oh, he wanted his car Dude. so bad. <laughs> He's so sweet. I know. Yay! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now what do you want? You want the power wheel now? <laughs> oh no. We wouldn't have everything up here in a second. No. Um, and I want my bike. <laughs> you want to ride your bike up here? <laughs> no, you don't. You um, yes, I do. <laughs> Get all my beep, beep. Oh. Well, he warmed up to the rain. Now he's digging in the mud. Oh my goodness, look at this oh picture, you guys. That face. Abram's so cute. One of the perks of having a daddy and a husband as a photographer. Look at his face. I love it, I love it that we have these memories. Me. Look at so them. Oh, I love this shot. Oh, let me see. Oh, so cute. So what's on the agenda for today, honey? Just kind of chilling out? Actually, I'm really excited, guys. I'm super motivated because I've been getting a lot of Mother's Day wreath orders and I'm gonna go get the supplies for it today. And I just am so excited. I'm so cool. ready. Cool. You should make one for yourself for Mother's Day. You've been a great mother. Oh, thank you. No, I'll let you get me a present for Mother's Day. I like rainy days, guys. They're just unpredictable. Like yesterday, if I knew that it was going to rain today, I would have made plans. But my plans in my head were to go outside and work on the house. But I can't. So we got to, you know, be spontaneous today. And of course, the other benefit of rainy days is getting to sit around and be lazy and catch up on other family vloggers. Speaking of which, I just discovered a really cool family uh, vlogger on YouTube. Their channel name is Clintus.tv. They have two children, and um, they recently hit 100,000 subscribers. And uh, it was just really cool. It was such a cool video he made. It's called New Dirt Bike for Dad, 100,000 subscribers. So he went out and bought a brand new dirt bike for his 100,000 subscriber celebration. It's really cool. They're about to go on a camping trip, but I'm really enjoying these vlogs. He's just so good at vlogging. I'm just like... Man, I wish I was that good in front of the camera. You guys should definitely go check him out. Clintus.tv. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description and probably a link to that one video because you guys need to check it out. It's really fun. There's very few vlogging channels that I enjoy, and um, he's definitely one of them. That's a big knock. He's serious. <laughs> Go in. You want to come in? See you later. What is he doing here when he comes in? Jumps on the bed. He farts on your bed. Jumps on that. Oh. We made some plans today to take the kids over to Nana's house. Nana's gonna watch Abram and Tiffany for a little bit while Nia does some reshopping. And guess who's coming along with Nia for reshopping? I am. <laughs> yeah, me. I volunteered. Elmo's on, Mom. I'll watch Elmo. Not you. What? Not you. But I want to watch Elmo. Don't push him. Don't. He's on the steps. He's on the Hi, Mom. I gotta empty your trash. Hi. Mm. Hey, Hi, Pebbles. 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 Pebb
I'm gonna do it on the TV set. Yay! My mom really liked the picture I took of Symphony and Avery playing in the mud this morning. Oh gosh, it's the best picture I've seen so far of them together. She can't get over it. She keeps like texting me, Sam, Sam, I love that picture. Please blow it up for me for Mother's Day. Oh, That's what I'm gonna do. That's an easy, easy gift idea. Yeah. Perfect. Why? I don't know. Their faces yeah. are so bright and beautiful. Their yeah. eyes are so wide. They do look so cute. This is like an awesome <laughs> picture. If you guys want to see, check out my Instagram at Sam Paul Photo. Yay! Abram got new cars. Look at the little crane truck. Yay! Room, 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 room. These are perfect for a little man. Abram, look at the backhoe. That's a backhoe. <laughs> Did you see the cement truck? Look at the cement truck. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye, Daddy. This is what happened last night, by the way, when I tried to put him down. Bye -bye. It's just too sad. I couldn't do it. Oh my I had to get Nia before he went to sleep. So yeah, I don't think that new routine is gonna work out. I told you guys about. Yeah, the burlap ribbon's 50% off. I know, thank you. That's why I came today. All my ribbon are 50% off. Oh, really? She already knew. I guess I'll just shut up and go my own way. So a lot of you guys have shared the um, sunflower wreath look with Nia on like our Facebook page. And so she's going to go ahead and make it. I'm making like 10 within the next like three or four days to ship out before Mother's Day. Wow. I'm having a hard time finding the right shade of yellow. And so I don't so know. They have the burlap in yellow, but they don't have paper the mesh. Uh, paper mesh. She thought about this mesh ribbon right here. But that's real mesh and it's not going to look the same. And it's really yellow. Yeah. It's, it's not this yellow, is it? I feel this like is I like need a happy medium yellow. between these two. This is dark. I don't know. I told her she should just go with this right here. <laughs> no, actually, you guys want to know what he suggested? This one right here. He's like, that looks awesome on a sunflower. Do this one. It would look cool, right, guys? Come on. <laughs> Nia's trying to tell me to be careful in the wood shop. Just because I dropped a saw on my foot while I was wearing flip flops and I cut one of my toes and now I got a band aid on it, she's telling me to be careful. Yes, I am because. Does I'm that make sense to you guys? What? They're gonna think it makes sense. Me and I are going to take advantage of this time of mommy watching our children, and we are going to go sit and relax at Lifehouse, sip on some hot sweet coffee, and drink some romantic novels. Drink? We're gonna drink the romantic. And when I say romantic, did I say drink romantic novels? I meant read romantic novels. And I, what I mean by romantic novels is these kind of novels. This is Forgotten God. It's about the Holy Spirit. It's such an awesome book. I'm completely captivated. I just want to keep on reading. So that's what we're going to go do right now. What are you going to read? Did you well, get a book? I didn't get a book. <gasps> you were supposed to get a crap book. I know. They're $25 at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, you weren't supposed to get a crap book. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so I'm reading this book called Forgotten Love. It's about the Holy Spirit. And I came across this passage that's kind of relatable to um, our family right now with the caterpillars falling out of the trees and stuff. This guy was wondering what caterpillars think when they're walking around on the ground. He says, for all its caterpillar life, it crawls around a small patch of dirt and up and down a few plants. Then one day it takes a nap, a long nap. And then what in the world must go through its head when it wakes up to discover it can fly? What happened to its dirty, plump little worm body? What does it think when it sees its tiny new body and gorgeous wings? As believers, we ought to experience this kind of astonishment when the Holy Spirit enters our bodies. We should be stunned in disbelief over, over becoming a new creation with the Spirit living in us. As a caterpillar finds its new ability to fly, we should be thrilled over our Spirit-empowered ability to live differently and faithfully. Wow. That was a good description of the Holy Spirit. That is you know, really once you good. become saved, the Holy Spirit comes, lives within you, and um, that should give you wings, basically. So we're here to pick up the kids at Nana's house. You guys are probably wondering what happened. Tuesday, my mom was supposed to go to Florida, but like at the last minute, she decided oh, not to go. Mom, you gotta tell them why. They're all wondering. Well, David and I um, realized they don't need me as much as they did, so I decided to stay home and get a job. So that's what, for now, that's what I'm doing. Alright, cool. We're glad to have you, Mom. Thank you. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It was just so random. It was like that next What's day, she said, uh, I decided not to go. Or I'm staying here or something or another. But... 
Well, we finally made it home. We had to drive like five miles per hour. Look at this rain. My taping job is still holding up. <laughs> Hopefully the windows won't get all soggy and fall down. On the way home, Cynthia was like, I don't want to run in the rain. I was like, you were running through the rain this morning. She said, yeah, but this is a disaster. And she's right. This, my friends, is a disaster. Tonight is perfect weather to break out the popcorn. Right? Right, guys? Popcorn? Yeah? Yeah, popcorn? Popcorn? Got it. So, Nia and I eat a lot of popcorn. And uh, we go through like a, a box of 22 of them in a couple weeks, right? Yeah. And um, since we're trying to watch our figures, see, trying to watch our figures here. We're using the coconut oil, Nativa. And we're using this light salt that Nia picked up. It's 50% less sodium, which is good. But it's a good source of potassium, but it's not sea salt. Sea salt doesn't have um, iodine in it. This still has iodine in it, so we're keeping the iodine. And then the yellow popping corn. I wonder why it's called yellow. What does that even mean? This is the oil? Yeah, you shouldn't use too much. Just enough to coat the bottom. <laughs> Look how cute this bag. It has a little mouth right here. So you have to worry about tearing open the top. Cool. Is it healthy? No, I think. Oh, oh. yes! One there pop. One. <gasps> Look, Sydney, hurry! I need it! Hurry! Oh. Hurry! Is it yummy? Do you like it? Yeah, it just tastes just like popcorn with nothing on it. <laughs> really? Let me see. Yeah. Mm. It's so good though. It's like tastes like tasty. packaging material. <gasps> yeah, just like that one went right on it. Wow. There's our fresh popcorn without all the chemicals. There's two um, kind of dangerous chemicals in uh, microwavable popcorn. The one that you smell is the um, artificial butter. It's really dangerous for your lungs. You're not supposed to inhale that too much. And then the other one that coats the inside of the bag, which is said to be a uh, carcinogen that causes uh, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, and, and stuff like that, they say. So this is a lot safer. Uh, probably a little bit healthier too, of course, because we're not using all the butter. Oh. You want pickles with it? <laughs> Ta-da! We need pickle juice! Alright guys, so we're going to sit here and enjoy our fresh popcorn mm -hmm. with some pickle juice. Um, don't forget guys to check out Clintus.tv. I put a link in the description. Let him know we sent you guys over there. Go congratulate him on 100,000 subscribers. And um, thanks for coming along with us today, guys. Don't forget. We, we love, love you. you. And remember to, to love, love each other. other. And, and don't forget, we love you. And remember to buy this kind of popcorn. I'll be the hand that you can't hold when